Welcome back to Game of Thrones. This is part four of episode one. I don't know exactly where the uh, checkpoint is, so we'll find out together. I think it might have been exactly where I left off last time, but maybe not. Also, I can't remember where I left off last time. I think it was about here. Milady. What? You? Manite Shyamalan. That's his Begging name. your pardon, Milady. Um, I hope I didn't frighten you. Forgotten where we're starting. I rolled a dice. How long have you been waiting there? I don't Not know what long. happened. Fuck it. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. We're, we're going with three. We're so. going to start with down was right before. and move on. About Lady Marjorie so, and Queen Cersei. I completely I forgot what I was doing. Know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Yeah, Hopefully but do I need you? Be useful to you? I'm sorry. I, I really must go. Please You're quite scrawny. I know people who. A real nasty wound Maybe on its head. Isn't help you. I know all your secrets. So that kid will probably come in useful. The thing is, he could be working for someone else, but he probably isn't, is he? Is he? I mean, if he's working for anyone, it'd probably be maybe the queen. It's unlikely. She, that's not really her style, is it? All right, we're back at Where's Sir with with Eve, Ethan. The man Ethan. values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Way too high. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. It is really twattish. All some men approaching, my lord! Say nothing, apparently. That I, I was I was waiting for him to say something. It's like I won't cut him off. This is probably important. Nothing. Fucking nothing. <laughs> something wrong with your gate? This is a risky strategy. Well, but aren't you the little lord? I like having a no, solid thing game. between us. Shall we help you? Now let me in. I'm going to be silent now, and I love this it. This is a lovely pile <laughs> of timber, isn't it? You're welcome hey, to come in, Lord Ramsay, fuck. but your men are not. Duncan, why? How stupid do you think I am? My men wouldn't fit inside your tiny little keep. You didn't tell me their lord was a mute as well. I forgot silence will unnerve him. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Nothing but the best. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. He's just, he's that God. So. I cringe every time he speaks. <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Such a useless prick, that Whitehill. Don't, don't let him near anyone important. I do not like this man. But I, I do, but I also fear him quite a lot. He's very quite dangerous. the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. We have, we have four men, apparently. A couple of people standing guard, but, but four men, ostensibly. Presumably we lost a lot of them at the Red Wedding. 
and in the various wars preceding the Red Wedding. Well, the one the, uh, there was one war. It was, it was the various battles. I'm on A currently. Button push. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Look with your eyes, Ramsay. Look with your eyes. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay. Good words, Duncan. I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. Fucking Whitehall. First. Whitehill, even. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton. We're on X. Warden of the X is normally acceptance. Words are wind. Oh, Anyone I can say. Gen genuinely is, Lord. as well. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, wants what you got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I a expect wooden chamber the same pot. for us. That's risky. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. I think you'd want clay. It would absorb the o uh, Well, it wouldn't absorb. That's the point. No, Lord Ramsay. Your silence is not very encouraging, little lord. But I will assume you agree. It would be a very bad idea not to. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One vault. No, you're mistaken. Oh, oh this That's is risky. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic Little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen. I mean, I wasn't technically a loyal bannerman when I did that. So, so I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from oh, this no. day forward. What? what? The that iron... doesn't make any sense. But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Yeah, how to fucking look after Ironwood. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Ooh. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? That's it, that's a good line. The little Lord does have a point. <laughs> we'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood. And we'll see who fares better. But, but my lord, half that's, of something is better than the nothing you had. That's before. not a bad deal. I think we should take it and to get the fuck out of no here. Trouble. Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. How does he have twenty At men? Wrath, that we cannot abide, Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. Whitehill White men? Never. Never. It's already done. I, I could I I did audition for the part as it happens. How did they get in? I specifically guard the the gates to. I did you say have a guard. Man you trust? My guard the gates to them. Griff, Griff, will lead the garrison. Oh, Griff's all right. You Come. have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. Oh, you don't, 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 don't do anything Are weird you? to the kids. Not the boy. Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, oh, my God, lord. Not, not the girl, that's oh, even worse. Well, like the queen don't, and her brother. Don't do anything freaky. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. Oi, oi. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Not the time for silence, is it? I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. 
Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Yeah, go on, Duncan. Do you something, like you useless shit. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. You've gone too far, oh. Lord Ramsay. I oh. demand you let her go. This could be bad. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Ah, uh, oh. oh, I mean, I knew it was coming, but still, right in the neck. I don't want the brave lord. Oh, oh God, it's so grim. Ethan! Ethan! No! It just comes out of fucking nowhere. Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. He's what have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the party. Take the boy as your ward. Take him as well. If they give you any trouble. Okay. They lost two kids this day. It's not going well for her. She lost three children in about six weeks. Somebody help him! Catch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let it take me! Let it go! Let it go. Uh, stop that! No, please! Quiet, please. Stop it. Let me Bring go! It. Quiet. Do something! Ethan? Having been through this twice, I'm now fairly certain there's no way avoiding of avoiding Ethan's death. Your story has begun. So apparently, I I left like twelve minutes of an episode. Ethan sacrificed himself I guess for it's a us a short all. one this week. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Great. Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt I mine do not too. Remember doing we have to this. stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? See, this is the trouble. When you budget 30 minutes an episode, you run over like three minutes on the first three. That adds up to 10 minutes. It cuts the last episode down. And it's not even its not even two hours. That's the trouble. It ends up making the last episode 15 minutes. That is poor planning. Let's look at the stats. Though. This is almost the most fun part. So uh, you and everyone else stayed with Bowen. I've forgotten who Bowen is. Bowen might have been the squire at the start. We stayed with him. I can say I've I've left him in the past and he dies. If you stay with him, it seems he still dies. There's no real difference. Uh, we swore loyalty to Marjorie, which is a minority decision. Because it's kind of a bad decision to make. Because she actually says beforehand, just say whatever the Queen wants to hear. But you swear loyalty to Marjorie. Will that play out in our favour? Who can say? It hasn't yet. I, I had the chance to ask her for help, but I turned it down. Uh, you and 35% sent Eric to the wall. Now, wait, who's Eric? Oh, no, oh, Eric was the thief, wasn't he? I, I was thinking of this old boy in the background. That's Garrett, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, Eric was the thief. You can, you can either chop his fingers off, send him to the wall, or let him free. In another playthrough, I chopped his fingers off, which... Had real, no real effect, to be honest. In it, unless some point in like another in another uh, what, season two, they call it. If if in that he comes back and he's like, well, I could have saved you, but I've only got thumb and pinky. I can't help you. Call for help. You and sixty nine percent picked Duncan as Sentinel. I'm surprised it's that high. Um, I picked Royland in my other playthrough because I thought I want. I want an army, and, and Royland's a soldier. I was like, he can help with that. No, he's he's pretty much useless, as is Duncan, quite frankly. They they seem to fill exactly the same roles, and 
you get the, the same options. You, basically, you can do whatever your sentinel says or not. The not is what the other sentinel would have said. So it kind of doesn't really matter. I think later on it might come up. Who can say? I, I don't know. But suffice it to say, none of them was able to protect Ethan particularly well. You and 50, about 50% really met Ramsey at the gate. Now that's an interesting one, because if you meet him in your hall, it goes down exactly as it did just then, at the end, after you... I thought if you meet him at the gate, you might stay at the gate, and you have the gate between you. But no. And, it, and somehow, despite you closing the gate to all his men, they all come through anyway. So... So it was all for nothing, strangely. Uh, I feel I've got other things to say about this. Um, whatever happens, the young kid goes with, with White Hill. I, I think that's unavoidable. My last button push is A. I feel I might have to write that down somewhere so I'll know for next time. Iron from Ice, that was. I can't think what episode 2 is called. I should I should let this play out while I was thinking about it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for episode two. Uh, not episode two. Well, yeah, it is it? It is very much episode two. It's it's Game of Thrones season one, Telltale Game episode two, part five. If you're going by my numbers, I don't know what I'll call it yet. The the Clockwork something or other challenge, Clockwork playthrough. I don't know. I'm still not 100% on that.